Hello Pleasant Valley Middle Schoolers, this is Mr. Ramos. Today we're going to talk about how to get better at pull-ups. And when I say pull-ups, I mean full pull-ups as I've shown you before. I want to see pull-ups from the bottom all the way up. I want you to be able to hold and then come all the way down and then repeat again, right? Not these half pull-ups that we see a lot of you doing. Now, what if you can't even hang for 10 seconds? Our first standard is a 30 second hang. What if you can't even get there? How about this? Maybe you can't fully hang for 30 seconds, but you can use a chair or a lower bar. You can put your feet on something or on the ground to hang. It's a partial hang. Once you can do a partial hang for one minute, that full for 30 seconds will be a lot more possible. You can start practicing that tuck position, that pooping dog position from the partial hang, okay? Having your feet on something or on the ground if you have a low bar. Now, once we get that one minute hang, we start working on the hanging knee raises because that's level green and level blue of our, cup, or of our fitness standards, right? So again, if you can't do hanging knee raises without swinging, but you have the one minute hang already, we can't do hanging knee raises without swinging, then we can start with hanging knee raises, putting, keeping one foot on that surface, whether it's the chair, or we're using a low bar and it's the floor, right? So there's gonna be no swing, because I have one foot on that surface. And you don't need to use it a lot either, you just kind of lightly tap it. Once I can do that, then maybe I can do full hanging knee raises without my feet on anything. Then, how about the total leg, leg knee raise? Again, I can go from feet on, feet on chair, feet off chair, feet back to chair, feet off chair, feet back to chair. And eventually, I get rid of the chair, and my feet are not on the chair anymore. No chair, right? No chair. So, use a partial hand. It's the same thing as doing a push up with knees on the ground, right? It's a regression. It's just a little bit easier because it's not as much weight on our hands. Same thing as doing the push ups with the hands on the chair we talked about, incline push ups, same thing. Not as much weight on the hands. Now, what if the hands and the knee raises are good? You got there, but you still can't do a pull up. And if you can, you do these half pull ups, but you can't go all the way down and all the way up. Here's another, another idea. We can do the arm movement, the full arm movement, without putting all our weight on our hands. And we do that through something called suspension training. It's a fancy term. There's a lot of fancy suspension trainers out there that you can buy in exercise equipment stores and stuff like that. But a rope works. A rope works. Gymnastic rings are the same concept. You can even use a low bar. The point is we can pull our body weight while keeping our feet on the floor. So one option is something called a body weight row, which is basically the opposite of a push-up, right? It's a hanging push-up or hanging pull-up. So they are really easy if you start from standing like this. If you start from standing, you just let yourself drop back and come up. And yes, I'm using this rope because I just found it in the PE closet, but you can you guys can figure out something. Anything that you can hang over a high bar will work. Or again, a low bar will work as well. You can hang off, go like this. Now, see, again, basically a push-up in reverse. Now, just like a push-up, the more upright I am, it gets easier. The more parallel to the ground I am, it gets harder. So, I can go all the way feet on the wall, you can barely see my head here, and pull myself up. That is way harder than the first version I showed you. And there's a bunch of degrees of, of difficulty there in between, right? So I can be here, and I can walk myself here. Oh, here's, this is a bit easier. This is harder. A little bit easier. A, a whole lot easier, okay? So you can play with a whole range till you get to a point that you can do them basically laying down on the floor, just an inch off the floor. And if you can do those, guess what? If you can do those, and you can do 10 hanging knee raises, you can probably do a pull-up. But here's another idea. How about you squat into a pull-up? So you hold on to this rope, or again, a low bar, and you squat down. So my feet are on the ground still. 
and then I come up. So I'm pulling myself up, but I'm still kind of helping myself with my legs. You can adjust how much or how little you help yourself with your legs. And also, by the way, you're also improving your squat. I hold down, and I pull myself up. It is a pull-up in movement, but with a whole lot less weight in your hands. Therefore, you can get that full range of motion and work on that movement, on that pulling movement in an easier manner. And as I said, once you get to the full, let me adjust this angle here a second. Once you get to this, the point where you can do this, this lay on the ground coming up here, and you get to the, the double hanging knee raise, bring those knees all the way to the chest, like we like it in the fitness standard. Once you can do those two things, guess what? You can probably do a few pull-ups. Maybe not 10, but you can do a few. And if you can do two or three, you can work up to 10. I hope that was useful. Please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'll see you guys in class.